All right, we're going to do this YouTube video for you poor fools out there who have been just as frustrated with flocking as we have. One of the things I found out that makes flocking so difficult, getting the gel out of the pool, right? Whether it's above ground, in ground, I don't care. It's just jelly. The minute you put any kind of contact or water pressure to it, it turns into a cavitating cloud, and within minutes trying to vacuum with the pump to waste, you've got a cloudy pool again. So what we decided to do was put the thinking cap on and reduce the violence of the pump cavitation. So we actually took the smaller pump that came with this pool, you show it? which is an absolutely show that sucker. With the blue. And on over there, yeah. There we go, that's okay. good enough. So, I'm gonna look in the pool. What we've decided to do, and you just show it, and I'll keep talking, okay. is instead of turning the pump on, just let the pump act like a siphon. It's much less violent, less turbulence, and you just had to be patient pushing your brush with the vacuum hose attached to it across the pool bottom. As you can see, it picks the stuff up, and it doesn't stir up the big cloud of goo. And what I do is I actually do a little rocking motion. So I lift, in this case, I lift the right side, let it down over the goo, lift the, re the left side. And I just walk it in there like that. And as you can see, it picks up the flocked material. <laughs> I love that word. And it doesn't stir it up. Maybe a little bit, but not much. So you have to be patient, but you need to be patient anyway, right? Slow is the word on this one. So that's really my tip for this. Now, the other thing I want to tell you about is that I took the element filter out of the pump. So it's just, basically, it's a straight siphon action with no filter because all we want to do is get this crap out of there. And it's working just fine. We've spent days in frustration trying to do this with the pumps turned on. We have a big sand filter pump pumping the waste. We have a small one pumping the waste. And all it did was stir it up. And so, re-liberate it back into the water and turn it cloudy. And we're about ready to kill each other. <laughs> that's right. Well, anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm about ready to kill you. There we go. Thanks for not lying. <laughs> on tape. So there you have it. If you want to do this, and you know it takes a while. So, you know, if you're someone who, <clears throat> like myself, will take a beverage from time to time, pop you a cold one. <laughs> Throw it in the cozy and just get out of here and just relax because, you know, it really is kind of relaxing. If you want to be romantic about it, just pretend you're pulling one of those gondolas over in wherever that place is in Italy. And, you know, in no time at all, you'll have this stuff up. The other benefit it is that if you were to look at the size of the pool, the side of the pool, you'd realize we aren't pumping all of our water out of the dang pool. This is taking about maybe we're losing about one third if that much, of the water that we would have lost when we were doing this to uh, pumping the waste. So that's just a little tip right there for all you folks that, that want a nice clean pool, get it back in service after the winter time, and you don't want to be as frustrated as we got. There you have it. Algicide, flock it, and vacuum it to waste using a siphon action. Have a lovely day. And this pool, by the way, is not very large. It's uh, 18 round 48 inches high and but it has just been really hard to get that flocking gel out of there so i'm going to make another sweep of the uh stuff over here so there's that that That's where the waste, all that lovely gel is going out. Right here, that's it. So we don't have any of this on. We have salt and sand, a salt and sand system. So anyway, that doesn't filter that gel out. All right, say bye, baby. Bye, baby. <laughs>